important topic for a lot of us, you know, white workers and entrepreneurs and just people who are on this planet that are trying to make a difference because um, we have to have that warrior energy. Good morning, expanding energy. It's going on, Aaron. We're talking about the warrior, the warrior spirit and why having that warrior spirit is, in, is important. And what is the warrior spirit? The warrior spirit is being resilient. The warrior spirit is not giving up. The warrior spirit is when you wake up in the morning and you feel like shit, you keep moving forward regardless. When people don't believe in you, you believe in yourself and you just, you just, you're tenacious and you're hungry for what it is that you're trying to manifest in your life, no matter what it is, whether it's music, whether, you know, it's healing, you know, no matter what it is. And, um, and I feel like, yeah, that's what's up, Karen. So yeah, I feel like this is an, an immensely important topic and I feel like what better other human soul to talk about this but my boy Rogelio because he is the epitome of the warrior. Um, and so um, so he should be on shortly. We're going to get into it. What's up, soldier? How you doing? What's going on, Misty? What's going on, guys? <laughs> Every moment. <laughs> It's the best moment of my life. Of course it is. Of course it is. Yes, yes, yes. Well, peace. This is part two. <laughs> yes, this is, is this part two, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Karen, hey, we got the squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, so I was just, you know, just explaining, you know, mm -hmm. what it means to, to have that warrior-like spirit in you, to be tenacious, to be resilient, to not give up when you wake up in the morning. Sometimes you have those days where we just we just feel like crap, even though it's the best day of your life. We still have days where yeah. energetically we're just off, but we keep it moving anyway. So, uh, yeah. So you want to add on to that? Yeah. Yeah, Misty, because it is people w w when it comes to having that warrior mindset, there are there are days like that. When you get up, you feel like shit. You don't want to do anything. But there's rest days, and then there's days where you're just bullshitting yourself, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So it's like when your purpose, when you when you have those that that time where, where you can you know if you make a decision, you know what I think I can get through today. I think I can do this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there has to be that burning desire, that driving force behind your purpose, right? And that's part of the warrior, the dark warrior mindset, or with, with when you activate that fire within you. Like what, again, what keeps you going on those days, right? Because we all have that. Yeah. Um, and the more you put yourself in like, like for, for instance, there was times where I just, I was like done. I didn't want to drive anymore. I've been traveling, right? I was so tired. I drove like 10 hours straight. And it's like, Roy, this is a perfect time to ascend. Yeah. Are you going to give up when shit hits the fan, when you feel yeah. tired? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to keep going? Mm -hmm. And even just going an extra five hours, right? Yeah. Next, that's when you're like, you're pushing yourself past yeah. your limit. But only you know, only like you know. Your, right? How much yeah. you can really push. And if you can, or if you're bullshitting yourself. And that's where the honesty comes in, right? Misty, mm -hmm. like, dude, am I, am I really giving it everything? I guess that's what I'm trying to say, right? In the warrior mindset, are you giving it everything? Yeah. Or is today really arresting? Yeah. Only you know, right, Misty? Like Only you know. Only you know. And and you know what? You bring up a good point, too. This is something I was contemplating on this morning as I was thinking about this topic. And and I got this from you, too, from your course, <laughs> is part of having the warrior energy is knowing who you are. Because the more that you know who you are, then you can use that discernment on when you are pushing your limits and yeah. when you do need to have a rest day. Because if you don't know who you are, then you're going to be comparing yourself to other people and basing your parameters on that. And then that's giving you a disservice. Yeah. Right, bro? What do you, what exactly. do you think about that? Exactly, Misty. When you take the time to understand yourself, when you take the time to analyze your thoughts, your actions, everything, right? Again, who you are, you're able to see, okay, you know what? Yeah, today I'm, I'm really not feeling it, right? It's like if you're dozing off while – while you're trying to work on something, it's just stupid to keep going because you know your body is sending you clear messages, right? Yeah, yeah. But if you if you can if you can still go, if you can walk, 
right? If you can still walk in a sense, you don't have to run. You know, if you can still walk and you know you can get the shit done. That's why the, the warrior, guys, the warrior energy is all about GSD, right? Getting shit done and knowing <laughs> when and how to trigger that within yeah. you. What works for me, right, Misty? It's not going to work for you Absolutely. or Karen yeah. or anybody yeah. else. Yeah. So I don't expect anybody to do what I do, but only you know, right? Like, yeah. you know, like what you were saying, buddy, it's, it really is like that. <laughs> you know um or you go ahead buddy no no yeah so j just just going back to the importance of, of understanding who you are and taking the time to understand who you are and within that also taking the time to do your shadow work too which is something else that i feel like a lot of folks want to stay away from you know when you know yourself you allow yourself to feel all the emotions you're able to love yourself even on the days where you know you fucked up, <laughs> when you know that you know you're not in the highest vibration, right. and the more that you have that inner understanding, then then you can just be precise with executing that warrior life vibe. Yes, yes, Misty. And late, lately, honestly, oh, I'm sorry, really quick. I just want to give a shout out to everybody in the house. Hell we got yeah. Crystal in the house. We got Aaron in the house. Check within. So thank you guys uh, for joining us. We really appreciate you. Thank you, Missy. Yes, she's right. We really do, guys. We really do. It's all love, man. All love. Also, yeah, yeah, Missy. Something new that's been. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, I don't know what happened. But anyway, uh, brother, go ahead. Oh Man, you just <laughs> whenever it's you energy. go in, technology <laughs> just like freaks out. <laughs> right? What is going on, man? All right, That's, brother. Yeah. yeah, I was just saying. I was just saying, Misty, guys. I for a long time, I really embodied the masculine, dark war, the ma masculine warrior energy. But now, I've been really. Um, mind blown by by what the feminine, the divine feminine warrior energy can do because that's what I've been tapping into with this flow state, and knowing when to be aggressive, right? Knowing when mm -hmm. to to really activate that warrior energy in a sense, the fire, right? It's really it's what yeah. it is. It's a fire that yeah. we we have on demand, and if you can learn how to call that on demand, that's when you again you you push past the barriers, you push past the excuses. And you realize that you, again, you realize that you know if you're bullshitting, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. with a divine, divine feminine warrior energy, I feel like it's twice as powerful because it's not forced. With the masculine, it's more forced, more you I have to create this. With the feminine, it's more, it has that same power, but it's more flow. Does that make sense? It, it absolutely no, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Right? You don't have to keep pounding and pounding to create. It's just, you know, when to pound. You know how fast. You know, it's more detailed. It's more flow than... It's more intuitive. <laughs> intuitive. There we go, buddy. Yeah, yeah. And that's the new... I feel like that's the new thing right now, guys. Like, a lot of women are... are fine. You know, Misty, you, you, you coach women, right? Like, you're helping them tap into that type of energy, that type of power in a sense, because mm -hmm. it is power when you realize, um, w w when you activate it, not when you realize, when you activate it, the divine warrior feminine is so, is so empowering because it's more natural, it's more organic, rather than the masculine warrior energy where it's more force, it's more, I have to do this, I have yeah, to create yeah, this content. Yeah. And it's just something that I, it's a new way of, of the dark warrior. I should call myself dark warrior feminine at this point. <laughs> <laughs> How does that resonate, well, guys? How does that resonate well, with you? Well, you know, that's deep because I feel like, Rogelio, that for me, it's the opposite. I feel like the last few months, I've been tapping into my masculine energy. 
because up until this point, I've been more mm -hmm. super passive, you know, embodying that womb energy where lately I've been, you know, a little bit more assertive or I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit more, um, I've always been proactive. Like I've always gotten shit done, but when it comes to like my throat chakra and speaking my truth mm -hmm. and setting boundaries, that's been new for me. And I feel like that comes from like this masculine warrior like place. So really what this, what we're both are saying here, Rogelio, is that it's about balance. It's about yes. having both of those qualities, right? Yes. And again, that goes back to understanding who you are. When you know who you are, then you know what it is that you need more of in your life and what you need less of in your life, right? Exactly, exactly. There's no, there's no escape from, if, if you really want this type of, this, it's a frequency as well, because it's awareness, it's a frequency. You have to do the work, guys. You have to. But again, if, if you don't know how to do the work, it's also hard to ascend. But if you don't know how, there's always help, right? There's coaches, yeah. there's retreats, yeah. there's seminars, yeah. there's yeah. workshops, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's... Good morning, another... Tyler. Good morning. <laughs> Peace, babe. Uh, Go ahead, brother. Love. Go ahead, that's brother. love. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 buddy. There's just so many ways. But you also, more than anything, um, Misty, guys, you have to know why. Again, and it's we forget, right? What that fire? It's your drive. Is your drive? Why do you have to keep going? Why will you yeah. be relentless when it comes to your dream? When it comes to the lifestyle that you want? If you don't have a why, if you don't have a destination. You're literally going to be running in loops. Yeah, and you're just going through the motions. You're going, yeah, literally, you're going nowhere because you're, and then you're like, oh my God, I feel lost, I feel stuck, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you have to have some kind of direction, right? And, but you're right, right now, it really is. It's funny, the irony, guys, is Misty is tapping into more of the masculine warrior. I've been that for so long. That it's it's natural to me, but now Misty is trying to find that. Yeah, and you have to you have to go through it to connect with it, right? Yeah, the feminine wa yeah. warrior, yeah, buddy. <laughs> the feminine warrior never really existed for me up until these last three months, like that. I really yeah. started to allow last it. Last few months too. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's funny, Misty, that we're both we're ex we're messing with the other aspect of what we need to to know the other side of the the warrior that fire within because that's what we need right now and mm -hmm. there's no right or wrong you're mm -hmm. just listening you're allowing yourself to be guided right yeah. but you do look <laughs> you do <laughs> have to want that you do have to allow that because yeah you you can attract what you want but you still have to right the door's not going to open by itself you have to do that physical action you got to you got to put in the work you got to put in the work and you know what keeps coming up for me is is balance you know that the um kemetic principle of balance is ma'at right and so just a little mm -hmm. mythology here with ma'at or aka egyptian for some who don't know what kemetic is but so in the mythology with ma'at she's the one that has the wings right and that it's the scales so when you die according to egyptian mythology when you're in between worlds, they have a scale and they have a heart and a feather. They put your heart on one scale and the feather on the other. And if your heart is light as a feather, then you're able to ascend into the next dimension. So it's about having overall balance with, with, with um, self-care, balance with how you treat people, balance within yourself. And so like yeah. one, one way that I've been practicing balance for me is self-care because I've had this mentality that I got to go, 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 go. And if I stop and rest, that means I'm being lazy or that I'm not getting yeah. shit done. So yeah. I've been able, I've been like really practicing on knowing that it's okay for me to rest. And like you said, you know, n you know, when you're just fucking up <laughs> and you're being lazy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Versus when you need to just have that time, that downtime, because when you have that downtime, at least for me, that's when I get my inspiration. Like when I take my yeah. sacred baths, that's when I get downloads about content. That's when I get downloads about, you know, maybe I'm working with a client. I have like this particular breakthrough. So it, it it's just, it's balanced on all aspects of, of your being. You see how you know that? Too. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. Chris, that's awesome. Chris, <laughs> that's, it's, it's, again, and that goes back to knowing who you are, Misty, because yeah, that's man. a part of it. You know what works for you, right? Yeah. You know what's going to give you the downloads, what's going to put you in that, 
um, that rest, that the beta, the the beta um, state of mind where you're you're chill, you're resting because that's that is when the when the the answers come through. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But again, it comes with knowing who you are, with knowing what works for you, and it really does stem from that because you, you if you if you're just you're doing stuff that again comparing yourself to others and be like oh well that everybody again especially on social media right we always show that the the good side the that looks like it's picture perfect yeah but what about the resting that the people do right i don't really even for me i don't really show when i well sometimes like i, I show when i'm when i'm resting i show when i'm chilling um and that's why Everybody has that image of like, dude, this guy doesn't stop. Does he sleep? <laughs> <laughs> does he what sleep? does he I eat? Think... Does he even eat food? Right? <laughs> <laughs> and that's real though, Missy. That's real, buddy. Like, but I also, and that's why I'm, I'm glad that we're talking about this because this is, I don't really, I don't really speak about this, and a, a lot of us, we, we don't really talk about our downtime, our chill time, right? So mm-hmm. it is, it is necessary, man. And it is, it does come with, it does come with doing the work, right? With releasing like this huge, all these stagnant emotions that are being held within. But that's how you can really start to tap in and see what you want out of life. Once you release these wounds, these, um, this energy that it's blocking you from who you truly are in a sense. Do your shadow work. That's what shadow work's all about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. and it's just like, you know, um, it, and again, you know, being a warrior is having, you, you're in the mud, you're in the muck, you know, like you're, you're facing the ugly, you're slaying dragons left and right. And, um, and in order to get to that light space, you have to go through the shadow. You know, and in order to go to the shadow, you gotta, you, it's like you have to have your armor up. And having your armor up is your meditation, is drinking your water, is eating, you know, high vibrational foods. That is your armor. That's what's gonna keep you strong and sustainable in order to get through these, you know, mucky places in your evolution to get you to that other state of your purpose, right? Yeah, literally. Yeah, the, the more eat the food, oh my God, the food, it, it really does play a role. Um, it's funny you you say that even with the water because it is healing, you know. Like guys, the more you can keep your vessel clean. Right now, a lot of us are detoxing. That's what I've been seeing. Um, Missy, you've done you've done your fair share of detoxing, and yeah. you see how you feel yeah. afterwards during yeah. it, right? Mm-hmm. You can the the cleaner your vessel is, the more you can tap into the high frequency, Absolutely. your higher higher self. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, yeah, like, and again, it, it's all connected with knowing who you are because you mm-hmm. see what works for you mm-hmm. and activating that warrior side, the GSD of getting shit done. But again, it's it's not, and this is where people were, and it's, it's partly my fault as well. It's where we get it confused. It's not about having it on 24-7. It's about having it on demand, yeah. on call, yeah. right? When you yeah. need it, when you feel like shit, when you know you're bullshitting, no, GSD. But again, your purpose. But it's all connected, right? Like, why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you doing it? Yeah. Right. It's it's so it's all, but it, it, it it's a paradox. But at the same time, it's like you just gotta know, trust yourself that if you're just being, if you're chilling and you know, dude, today has to be a rest day. There's no way around it. Trust that. Right, mm-hmm. trust that. Mm-hmm. This whole week, I was fighting myself because I, I was. It was inner work time, buddy, and that business side of me, that like GSD, it's always there, and it's like I had to trust. Like, and the universe literally pushed it out the way so that I could focus on myself. There was no way around it, and that's how you know. Also, like when the universe moves shit around you, yeah. there's no way you can do it. <laughs> right, but, like, trust that. Trust that, my friends. <laughs> Don't be like, but fuck, but I, I got to do this. I got to do that. And you, you literally, if there's resistance, this is how you know. It's like, no, dude, that's yeah. not what you need mm-hmm. to be on right now. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. if you're like, you got to finish a paper and you're like, dude, it has to get done. I know I can do it, but I, it's, I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not giving it everything right now. That's when you need to step in, bro. You're like, no, dude, I can do this. Let me get this done. Even if it's one thing, 
Um, but it's knowing, it's tapping into that intuition and activating that warrior on demand when you need it. Mm-hmm. Because it's not, it's not about being on 24-7, bro. It's about knowing how to use it, when to use it, and trusting that when you are chilling, that is the warrior side too, because the warriors rest as well. Yeah, they do. So, yeah, I mean, that's really embodying it, bro. It, it, when it comes to embodying every moment and trusting every moment that it comes out when you need it. Does that make sense? Does anybody right? have, yeah, it totally makes sense. Yeah, I'm just curious what, uh, what the folks in the chat, if you guys have anything to, to add to it, anything that resonates with you, how do you tap into your own warrior, warrior energy? Because we, yeah. you know, we, we all have our own unique prints of what that means, right? Yeah, we do. We do, buddy. Um, but I, I have noticed this, guys. The more you challenge yourself, the more you put yourself in situations where you have no choice but to rely on your intuition and your spirit, the more tap, the more you tap into that warrior energy. Because mm-hmm. now you're like, dude, you have all this experience stacked mm-hmm. up, right? You, you yeah. know, you know what to do intuitively because you face a challenge. You've gone through the muds, and you continue to walk through it. So it's like you get to the point where you, you're not afraid of anything, anything, right? And this also, you start to build up this unshakable confidence, right, Misty? Confidence, You're like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all connected, man. It's all connected. And, and, when, and, and it doesn't mean that when you are faced with another challenge that you're not going to get that anxiety and like that, oh, shit, right. what do I do? You know what I mean? Because like, okay, I'll give you an example. Like whenever I coach women, before every session, I'm like, I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea where this is going to go. But because I trust it, and I just let go and I just allow flow state to come in. Miracles happen every single time, you know, even before doing a live. You know how I feel about doing lives. Y'all, I do not like <laughs> doing lives. Ah. But yeah. I'm doing it because I know that it's going to help me evolve and help me become yeah. more confident and, you know, to help offer value, you know. But 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 that's also part of that warrior vibe. It's like I got I trust that what's going to happen is what is what's supposed to happen. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, it's just like pushing yourself beyond those perimeters every single time. Yeah, literally, literally. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's how you know how much you can take, right? Yeah. You really want to know if you can make it? You really want to know how, how much fight you have within you? Go take the risk, go take the leap. And it's how you start activating and you find more of your, because you find more of yourself when your back's against the wall, right? And you have to push through. There's no way around it, right? You keep going when when shit, the, shit is hitting the fan and you feel like, damn, like, how? You, there's nothing left, but you keep going, right? Because you know you can take it. This is when you find out what kind of warrior, what kind of person you are. And again, it's, it's sad. One thing is to say, right? One thing is like, yeah, I know, Roy. I know you. This is how it happens. But do you do it, right? It's do you to do it. It's not to do, do it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, what? I want to, I want to also add this. Um, I love talking about this topic is neuroplasticity, right? Mm -hmm. So what neuroplasticity means is that our neural pathways and our brains, they're wired a certain way based on our actions, on our beliefs, you know, the things that we do. So if you are in this mindset right now that, you know, I, I can't, you know, I can't do a live or I can't do, I can't do that then you lock that particular pattern into your neural pathways. But when you start stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing things that scare you and like pushing yourself beyond those parameters, you're literally shifting your neural pathways. You're literally shifting yourself on a a molecular level. So there really is a science to this. It's not just this, you know, motivational, you know, new age talk. There is a science. Like you can literally shift yourself into the person that you want to be. Right, just just by taking the actions, buddy. Literally, you create new neural pathways. Misty, I think that's that's uh, it, that's what you're referring to, right? With yeah. uh, the mm-hmm. shift, you, you create all these new neural pathways yeah. mm-hmm. that, and now that starts to become the person that you want to become, right? Because you're taking the action, you're setting the intentions, mm-hmm. and you're not just wishing for it. Like we said, like I, I say, you're not, you're not, you're not clapping your feet three times in the air and wishing, <laughs> wishing for this shit to happen. Mm-hmm. It takes work. It takes intention and to get that down. Once you're like, once you, you realize that you can literally create this whole new avatar, this whole new version of yourself, 
but it, it does go with releasing the old paradigm, releasing. Yeah. Literally, you're going against everything that you thought you were. You're you're yeah. going against all your old beliefs, your old yeah. habits. You're reverse engineering yourself. Yes, literally, literally. But that's what comes with the territory, dude. Like yeah. going through the process and and realizing if you can get if you can go through you can go through this this journey of facing yourself of releasing the old you and going doing literally you can do you want to become the new version today do everything you use, do the opposite of everything you different used to do. yeah everything everything it's like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um and something as simple this, as like brush your teeth differently drink from a different yeah. coffee cup take a different route to work you know, uh, like you know, listen to different music, just, just every, if you can just change every, every little detail about your day, that is creating a shift. You literally missed it. Yeah. And we know what to do. We know what to do. You know, it's, it's funny because a long time ago, I knew that to get where I wanted to be, I couldn't be the old me and I had to be the complete opposite. Everything you see now, guys, Misty, I was the complete opposite. And I, I, I didn't get shit done. I was fucking procrastinating like crazy. I was lazy. But I knew, I'm like, Roy, if, do you want this to be the rest of your life? Do you want it? There's, cause we all know we have that inner savage. We have to make a choice, right? It all, it really, it comes down to the choice. Do you want to remain stagnant? Do you want to remain mm-hmm. going through these same cycles of life, mm-hmm. knowing that you could be better, but you just won't change? Or do you want to go against yourself in a sense and create this whole new foundation, this whole new yeah. warrior yeah. Yeah. and do the fucking work? <laughs> yeah, man. Right? Yeah. And it works. It freaking works. You know, I can say for myself, I think about just a year ago, up until a year ago, I had immense insecurity. I thought that I was stupid. I thought I wasn't interesting enough. I thought I had all these like just negative beliefs about myself to the point where whenever I would go out to parties, I would get in social anxiety. It's like, oh, what do I say? I'm not interested enough. You know, I don't work in the tech industry because most of my friends work in the tech industry. And now, y'all, when I show up, I show up fully myself. I don't have any anxiety whatsoever. And I'm able to adapt. I'm able to bring who I am. And because now that I have a confidence of who I am, I bring an interesting vibration, a unique vibration to the conversation. As opposed to doubting myself, I give myself permission to, to be my unique print of how spirit created me. And therefore it makes the conversations more interesting. Does that make sense? Well, I, I hope that yeah. came across like not egotistical, but like no. I've been literally able to shift my nervous system. I don't have anxiety anymore. It, okay. So this, and we're talking about after 30 plus years of being depressed, 30 plus years of having anxiety, 30 plus years of being insecure, and now I'm able to show up fully without any of those things. I mean, I still get me wrong. I still have insecurity. I think we all do, but it's not my story anymore. Now I can, when it comes up, I'm like, okay, I'm feeling insecure right now. That's interesting. As opposed exactly. to wallowing in that, in that vibration. Right. You, you don't, right. You don't dwell and stay there anymore. You, you actually challenge it in a sense, right? You're like, mm-hmm. hold up. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I don't need... This is what I used to be on. This is the old way of thinking. You, you're able to, you're, you have awareness, buddy, because you've gone through it. And you decided that this wasn't going to be a reality for the rest yeah. of your life. Sick of it. Sweet. Real shit, though, bro. You should be so proud, Misty. Every, when we all have these huge wins that we forget, right? We forget, like, again, all the stuff that we've done, how much we've overcome. And that's also part of the warrior, bro, because you, the battles is what makes you. Right, yeah, the man. wars, the, yeah. the wars is what makes you. So it's the scars, <laughs> literally, bro. Yeah. Uh, really well, quickly, I just want to give a shout out, um, Melissa. The same thing is happening. Uh, same thing is happening with me, Misty. Taking the leap of faith and knowing that your higher self will come through to guide you. Yes, right. Absolutely. You know, one thing, Roy. I've heard you say, and I, your your gems. You just got gems for days. I swear. Love, but one bro. thing you said, like when you when you. Uh, first got to Sedona, you were like, when you make that leap, when you take that leap, your wings would get stronger in mid air. Yeah. (laughs) Just, uh, just, yeah, that was just like a bomb for me. And I love that. Yeah, you just, you take that leap of faith and you trust and you have no choice but to get stronger as you're in mid flight. Right. 
Right. You have no and choice. That's, it's true. It, and it's, uh, I'm so happy you, you remember that, Misty, because a lot of us, we think it's, well, once everything is aligned perfectly, that's when I'll do it. Like, when I know there's the safety net. Yeah. Dude, jump without the safety net. Jump yeah. without the parachute. And obviously, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying literally. Not um, literally. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, <laughs> But when you learn, when you have, and it's, it's trust, guys. Those wings grow when you trust. It's literally trust, bro. Like, can you put, I, I've said before, put me in the middle of a forest and I will find my way out. Because mm. I have so much trust that mm-hmm. I, I'll know what to do. My spirit will guide me because I stopped doubting. I've been through this. It's like, again, I've been through that process. It's all phases, bro. It's all phases. Um, it's like you, you've overcome and you've done so much, right? How do you not trust? And even till now, like the when the financial doubt starts coming in, I laugh. I, I literally laugh. I'm like, dude, you manifested this, you manifested that. Yeah. Look yeah. at how even to this day, you know, you, you see everything you've done. Yeah. Everything you and like how do you yeah. not how whenever you, you want to do something, yeah. right? The wings are coming. They're they're there because you it's already yours. Everything is already yours, right? You want to buy that car, it's already yours. It's you want to yeah. buy that house, yeah. it's already yeah. yeah. When you have that type of belief, that type of faith, trust, there's no moment that doesn't go your way because you know it's yours, right? Your, your body, you don't question if it's your body, you know it's yours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the same thing with everything you want out of life, guys. Like, when you get out of your own way, when, you know, the insecurity is like, again, watch me. You, my, your own mind wants to doubt you, watch me. Mm-hmm. Watch, tell yourself, mm-hmm. I'm going to do this because it's going to make me happy. And because I refuse to live any fucking moment in my reality where I'm not happy, where I'm not growing, where I'm not living it on my terms. And that's, and that's part it, of, you, you brought, bring up another point too, you know, um, sometimes we got to get pissed off enough and sick and tired of being sick and tired enough to use that as fuel to make those shifts because only thing that we're doing to make those shifts is just taking action that's all you know it's just doing things differently and sometimes we in like one thing that joe Dispenza says who's a master in my book um is that we also get addicted to feeling like shit we get addicted to being depressed we get addicted to having anxiety Because it, again, because it, it's locked in our neuro, n- nervous system and our neural pathways. So it's just the brain wants to be efficient. So however, whatever program the brain is on, the brain wants to make that program efficient. So you yeah. have to go against the grain by simply Literally. doing things differently, you know, like meditating. Maybe just start with meditating for like one minute. Even if it's just, if you never meditated, just start off by taking just five deep breaths when you first wake up in the morning. Every little yeah. thing has to be different. And then slowly those little actions creates this ripple effect this avalanche exactly. and before you know it you're 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 making those leaps and shifting yeah. yourself on uh, a, on a neurological level and then before you know it you are becoming the person that you want to be like another yeah. thing joe Dispenza says is that really what we're doing when we do this work we're just catching up to ourselves and repeat that, that. Repeat that? that when we're doing this work this inner mm-hmm. work like like you said earlier we already have it right that car that you want, we already have it. That dream job you want, we already have it. All we're doing is just catching up to ourselves. Literally, yes, we. <laughs> I love catch. I, you like that? <laughs> I, I like that. I I have I. Missy, right, what is go ahead. Yeah, I'm back. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, okay, so um, catching up to yourself. Catching up to yourself. Yes. So, um, the, again, in this universe, there's so many different ways to phrase shit, but it means the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, something I was taught early on was aligning yourself to receive. Mm-hmm. Right? You're aligning yourself to receive, in a sense, with everything you want. Again, you... 
you um how would I word this? You you want the like I, again, and I, I don't I don't like speaking about myself as well, Misty, because it's like I, I don't like it's not boasting, but it's the best examples that I can give because I lived through yeah, it. Right? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like if if I wanted I wanted a new life, I wanted a better life. I had to align myself by making this move to Sedona, by coming over here. It wasn't going to come to me at my parents' house. I had to go over there and make the, take the actions, move over here, um, and then everything started shifting, right? I had to align myself to receive. To receive, I love that. And, yeah. and that's, that's what we, we forget, bro. Like, yeah. We, yeah. It is. You are catching up in a sense because you're, 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 it's like here's the frequency that you want to be on and here's you. And you're yeah. mo- you're moving towards that by taking yeah. these actions. We Take think that actions. we think it's a straight shot to where we want to be, not knowing that there's this stop and then there's this stop yeah. and this stop, aka yeah. challenges yeah. to yes. get to the destination. Yeah. And that's what it comes down to. Like, how much that's are you willing to, to take? Right? <laughs> like, do you really want this this new energy? Do you really want this new relationship? This new foundation? Are you willing to take the necessary steps to go through it, right? And how many challenges? And it's a, there's no like, all right, well, if three things go wrong, then that's a sign. Like, no, right. your heart's calling yeah. you to do something. Yeah, yeah. Bring it. Bring yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, and that, that used to be me back in the day where the moment something goes wrong, I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'm out. You know, like, this is too hard. This is a sign. I'm at net for this. And then I would just continue to perpetuate a life I didn't want. But the moment that I was like, you know what? I'm going to be tenacious. I'm going to keep moving forward. You know, like, you know, when I first joined, you know, um, full-time purpose, you know, I was like, I didn't really have the money to join it, but I yeah. knew this is where I needed to be. Exactly. And I made it happen. Exactly. I made the investment and look where I'm at now. You know, like it created this whole ripple effect that now my life is just like, just, yeah, from that one decision, you know? So again, it comes down to taking action. It's not going to happen just by doing meditation. Meditations help. It gets you energetically, you know, prepared for it, but you have to take tangible actions in order to make, to get results that you want, period. There's no other way around it. Exactly, buddy. And they go, they do, they go hand in hand, Misty, because I feel like meditation it's like it's preparation for the action, right? You're you're getting your thoughts together. You're seeing what you want in a sense with that peace of mind and a peaceful mm-hmm. state. It's yeah. not out of it's not out. We're always making decisions out of two two frequencies, bro: determination or desperation. Yeah. Right. When you determine, shit's yeah. gonna go good. Shit's gonna fall yeah. into place. But when you're desperate and you're like, I need to do this because if not, this is gonna happen, and it's fear based. It's this when shit hits the fan, right? Yeah, no, so yeah. always ask yourself, am I determined with this decision or am I desperate, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and this when again, that, that's why they say, guys, success is one decision away because it really is. <laughs> it really is. Um, but it's... Um, shout out to the though. Matrix Unveiled. just want to give a shout out to the, the Matrix Is unveiled. he here? Yeah, he just said, what's oh. up? Oh, shit, yo, what's up, yeah. man? <laughs> Uh, Melissa also says some people get addicted yeah. to pain, mm-hmm. right? They've been through because they don't know who they are, and it's, like, outside of that pain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy, it can be scary. It, yeah, right. It's so easy. It's so easy to, to be a victim of the pain. Well, this is happening to me. I can't change it. But it's also conditioning, right? It's also I was going to say that. That was going to be thing, too, yeah. You know, not to go down any conspiracy theories, but it it has been conditioned, you know, Um it starts with the educational system. It starts with what Hollywood's feeding you. It starts with what the media's feeding you. You know, that's why it's just like a billion dollar business, you know, but if we can break out of the matrix, yes. then we can liberate ourselves and get back to our true, who, who we, who we truly are, which are co-creators, you know, yeah. like which are people that we are created to co-create. We're created to spread light. We're created to, to be happy and not meaning that it's all going to be fairies and unicorns every day. I mean, we're going to get challenges that's going to present themselves to us, but it's how we react to them that makes a difference because those trials and tribulations, they're there to mold and shape and help our, our souls evolve, you know? So that's why like, it's important to get out of that mindset that life happens to us 
versus life happens for us, right? right? And it, it, it really is a shift in consciousness, Misty. You have to be aware of that, buddy. Like when you, the, when, when I started seeing triggers, shit that pissed me off as a way of ascending, as a way of like, hold on, mm. this, why would anything or anybody, um, and there's times where you, ha you have to release that, right? Yeah. Um, you, you have to speak what's on your mind. But once you do that, you get the clarity in a sense as well, because mm -hmm. you're like, okay, why did this piss me off? If I'm unconditional love, it, it's, all, it's all ascension. If I'm unconditional love, why does anything cause me to feel these worry, this worry, this anger, this, you know, fear? Um, but it comes with a shift in perspective, right? How you start to see the world through the, your lenses, through your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a decision, bro. It's a decision. And we, if we keep thinking the way we were thinking, we're going to keep getting the same results. Same we're going to keep right. getting triggered, the same yeah. shit. And we're not going to get the message through to let this shit go. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a decision, though, Misty. Right, guys? Like, you know what? I choose to see every moment for its highest perspective. Every moment. Right? Yeah. Somebody says something that pisses you off. How does this serve me? What yeah. is the universe? Yeah. Right? Yeah. What, and that shit's easier said than done. Let's just keep oh, it yeah. real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. But you have to say, you have to say what's on your mind. If you hold it in, it, it's going to be, um, your emotion is going to cloud your judgment. Your emotion yeah. is going to affect your perception. But once yeah. you say it and you release it, you let it out. Yeah. Now yeah. you're like, okay, this is why this pissed me off. This is why it's continuous. And it could be something of somebody in your past, somebody that totally. you used to be. Yeah. Who you yeah. used to be, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but <laughs> it, all, it all comes with that. And you also, to find out who you are, guys, you have to cut cords with shit that doesn't serve you anymore, mm -hmm. with stuff, people, situations, events, mm -hmm. that's damaging mm -hmm. you, that's causing yeah. you to question who you are, that's taking energy, right? Including um, the music you listen to, including yes. the shows you watch, the movies you watch, everything. everything. Exactly, exactly, bro. Um, but it comes with a journey, and that's the beautiful thing about life. You're always learning something new about yourself. You're always healing something. But there's also phases, and it's phases, bro. It's phases. Like, you, you're not always, um, you're not always eating in a sense, right? There's a time to eat. There's a time to do the work. There's a time to do the business. There's a time to hang out with the friends, the family. Mm -hmm. But it's about when you're so tapped in into who you are, you know when it's time to do X, Y, and Z. You know when it's time to leave this situation, this person, and but it comes with the trust, guys. It, at the end, it still comes, again, question, with, with this phase, question nothing and trust every moment. That's one of the downloads that I got. It's also a timing for that, right? I'm not questioning us being here on live. I'm not questioning me breathing. <laughs> it's, it's knowing. It's a knowing. It's a trust. But you got to know when. That's like when you tap into the warrior energy. Yeah, you got to yeah. know when to use these, these mantras, right? The next, what was, what was that thing that you posted yesterday, Misty? Um, about oh, I can tell you right now. Uh, what I think, what I think and do is setting the stage for the next phase of my life. There, we, yeah, there we go. I needed yeah. to, to be reminded of that. Yeah. And I, there's times that you say shit, but again, you forget, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's true. Like when you're like, you know what? Yeah, and right now this is setting the stage for the next phase of my life. Why would I doubt that? Everything else has been aligning exactly mm -hmm. how it should. Why would mm -hmm. I? Doubt that now, because it's a process. That's why yeah. we're going to doubt. It's an ebb and flow. We're going to remember. <laughs> we're going to forget. We're going to remember and forget. You know, and that's why, like, it, it takes a tribe. You know, it takes a tribe to heal because we can all remind each other when the other person forgets. Yeah. You know, and again, that comes back to the importance of surrounding yourself with high vibrational beings. Because if you're surrounded by low vibrational people and you forget, you're going to continue to forget because they sure as hell are not going to remind you. No. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> that's how it is. Well, that's just how it is. That's how it is. And um, I just, I just want to kind of like, you know, we're we're at that like forty three minute mark. So I'm not sure if you want to keep going or if you want to wrap this up at this point. If anybody else in the chat has anything you want to add. Yeah, honestly, I feel like everything. I, I've let, and I know again, it's more of a feeling. I know I, we've said everything that, that was needed to be said. Um, so, yeah, if anybody has questions, definitely let us know. Today, today was um, 
I don't know, the, the, the energy, Misty, it feels like this is more of a, of a healing life because people are going through this shit and mm-hmm. I feel like they don't know where to turn, what to do when this type of shit comes up. So I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like we gave people clarity when they're going through everything we talked about. Right, because it can get tricky, man. It gets so tricky. It can get tricky. It can get tricky. Yeah, yeah. I feel, you know, for me personally, that the the PowerPoint is balance. That's okay when you need to rest. Not comparing yourself to other people. That's where it really gets tricky. Like, oh, I need to rest today, but I see Rogelio has done like three lives this week. You know, how's that serving you? (laughs) You know, yeah. that's Rogelio's yeah. vibration. You know what I mean? So it's just like having balance, being true to your vibration, um, you know, knowing when to rest, knowing who you are, knowing what your purpose is. The more that you know who you are, then the, the more focus you can have on how you're moving forward. Because then you'll know that the easier it will be to have discernment. You yeah. know what I mean? To know, yeah. like, when when to say yes, when to say no. Um so those are the, 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 the strong PowerPoints for me. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See, that's, that's one of the things with me. Like, uh, I love that, Misty, that you were able to, to point that out. Because for me, it's, it's challenging <laughs> for me to, to like, go back and, and put those into, uh, like, into points. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. <laughs> and just more than anything, it all goes back to trusting yourself, that you're exactly yeah. where you're supposed to be at every moment. And um, doing what you know Again, one thing is to know, and another thing is to do what you know, right? Um, and I, you know what, guys? Before we head out, I did want to share something with you that I've been doing. I read this um, this Tony Robbins book recently, and um, it's um, Awakening the Giant Within. Mm. And he was talking about having – and I accepted this challenge of for 10 days, try not to stay in the problem state of mind. Try to make every to every uh, issue into um, into something that can serve you into keeping a positive state of mind with everything, right? So, uh, so he calls it the the solution state. So, example, um, your shoes are untied. I'm not gonna sit here and bitch. I'm not gonna sit here and complain and why? Why are my shoes untied? I'm gonna go straight into the solution state. What can I do to fix this? Oh, I got to tie my shoes. <laughs> you see? Like, he's saying for 10 days, just do this. Every time something comes up, instead of staying in the problem state, the fear, the anxiety, go straight into a solution state. How can I fix this? What would be the solution for this situation that I'm in? It changes everything, bro. And it's, so it's, it's another more of a example subject. of taking action. Right? Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, you're setting new intentions now, new actions. Because you're not going back to your old way. And I'm not saying that we all think like, oh, man, we dwell on that shit. But it's like for the people that, that have like that old paradigm of of just staying in that worry state of being pissed off and not just being like the victim. Like, dude, go from the problem state into a solution state and watch how everything starts to become so much easier because you're literally oh training God. yourself yeah. to, be, to become... Shift those, neuro, yeah. shift those neural pathways. <laughs> literally, yeah. In, yeah. in that moment, in that yeah. instant, buddy. Yeah, so yeah. It's, that's why it's so powerful. So if you guys want to try that, I'm doing that right now. It's a 10-day challenge. But it's more of a psychological thing because once you see how, holy shit, this way of thinking serves me in every fucking way, yeah. why would I ever go back to yeah. a problem state of consciousness? Yeah, yeah. Right? That's dope. <laughs> you resonate with that, Misty? I do. Yeah, hundred percent. So, what day are you in right now? What's up? What day are you in out of the ten? Um, right now. So I started this. Uh, um, I'm on day nine. <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, 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 I'm on day nine, and it's been challenging, bro. It has because it it really yeah. is challenging. I've been triggered, but I've been mm-hmm. able to again the solution stay right back. Right. It's yeah. like. It's like you're drifting, la, 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 la. You pull yourself right like back. Yeah, yeah. You're like, nah, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that's where it's like the little mantra, like, hold up. Nope, you made a promise, Roy. You're going to stick with this. And because you know it serves you, bro. You know, yeah, if you can do it yeah. for 10 days. Why would you go? Why would you not go why the rest you of your life? Right, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. buddy. So I hope that helps, guys. I just wanted to leave you with that. Anything else, Misty, buddy? Uh, no, man, I think I feel complete. And 
I love this conversation. I, I think um, I would hope that, you know, folks out there were able to get some insight about themselves and what it means to have that warrior energy, you know, to, to know who you are, to really put the, the, the time aside to really get clear on what your purpose is, to get clear on what lights you up every mor yeah. morning. Because once you know that, that's like step one. Once you know what lights you up it every is. morning that you wake up, then, you know, not, you're not going to let anything get in the way of fulfilling that no. purpose. You know what I mean? So, um, like, love you too, sister. Love, love you too, Esteban. Karen, Esteban. Yeah. Love, buddy. Yeah. And that's what Napoleon Hill says, Misty, the great Napoleon Hill. He said, have a definiteness of purpose and a burning desire, mm. right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it that's takes really to just get started, need. bro. Yeah. It is. So, yeah, guys, um, I hope this helps. I hope this brought you value. Misty, thank you so much for having me on, buddy. Nothing but love for you. Of course, yeah. Likewise, brother. All right, soldier. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us. And, uh, yeah, so may you all be fun. warriors. <laughs> Hell yeah. Today and for the rest of your day of your life. All right, buddy. Love. Peace. Bye. Bye-bye, buddy.